It's been a pretty wild two months when it comes to Star Wars, particularly when it comes to the Gina Carano situation. Lots of bad press for Lucasfilm and Disney when it comes to Star Wars. It's really not been good for them at all. And they continue to try to double down with stuff, like with that rewriting Ripley situation that we had recently. Uh, all of their stuff was thoroughly debunked by Aiden Paladin, by the way. Make sure you go check out her video. But the other big thing here has been the anti Gina Carano people and how they've been trying to deplatform people, shutting down people's stores. Yesterday, Drunk 3PO, another YouTuber, had his store shut down. Two of them, in fact. Uh, it got restored, actually. As you can see, it's back up here. Um, Welcome to the Rebellion is what they were trying to take down, saying that it's copyright infringement, which it's not. You can't copyright a font, and you can't copyright the word the Rebellion. So he did get this back up. It's restored. So this is a good thing. However, they managed to get another one. Another YouTuber's Teespring store got shut down, or Public. I'm not too sure if they're the same thing or not, but what was funny is all he had on his store was his logo, RK Outpost. That was it. There was nothing else on there. It was just RK Outpost. Now, he used to have some pretty clever shirts on there, like, what was it, the F Naughty Dog? <laughs> like, F, F Naughty Dog on there and a couple of other things. They were pretty funny. Uh, those got removed because I guess they were flagging stuff before. Uh, he's also a vocal Gina Carano supporter. And they managed to get his Teespring taken down. However, there's good news here. The good news is that his store was restored. So this is another massive L for the Gina Carano haters who will not leave this woman alone. They will not leave this woman alone. She's not even doing anything right now. She's just chilling. But over the past couple of months, they're just determined to erase everything about her. And it's insane. It's a really good example of just how nasty these people on Twitter can be. They just are looking for anything to destroy people who defend her. And they're still looking to destroy people like her that go against what they say. We saw it recently with her own Twitter account, which they're desperately trying to deplatform because she has a massive Twitter account. I think she has like a million followers over on Twitter, which is which is huge. I'm not sure what her Instagram is. I don't I don't have Instagram and I never will because I hate social media. So I'll be staying away from that. But she has a large social media presence. So naturally, they want to shut that down because she can use that communi to communicate with fans. So they've been trying to, to get her Twitter. The only reason an account gets shadow banned, because it's happened to me before, is mass flagging and reporting. Because then Twitter sees that there might be a problem. And they don't want to suspend you because there's nothing that they can s suspend you for. So what they do is they temporarily shadow ban you you don't show up in searches none of, nothing like that and then they'll see if maybe that'll fix the problem and nine times out of ten it works because nobody can find you uh usually will just go away after a while at least mine just went away after like a month i think it took uh but it's a sign that you're being mass flagged and reported constantly which is why they usually do that and then you see it recently with ryan and drunk 3po with them going after people's merchandise stores, which means these people are still going after people relentlessly. And I, and I know how this works. What they're doing is a lot of them are making probably DM rooms on Twitter or hanging out or they're hanging out in discords and coordinating on how they can get people to platform and taken down and working on how they're going to report. They usually probably reporting in unison at the same thing. I mean, these are people that live to destroy livelihoods, and some of them are quite organized, and they appear to be quite organized here because there's no other reason why these two stores would be taken down for the same reason. So it's, uh, it's, it's really messed up, but the good side here is they've failed relentlessly again. They've, they've spectacularly failed. Uh, both of these Teespring stores are back up for Drunk and Ryan. And Gina Carano is still not banned from Twitter. Now, they can celebrate the Mandalorian stuff, unfortunately. But 
as far as depersoning her and her supporters, they have failed miserably at that. And that does frustrate them, and I think that that's, uh, that's good. I like to see them frustrated because they're they're nasty people that just want to destroy people's lives because they don't like their opinions. Anyway, I'm glad that Ryan and Drunk 3PO got their stores back up. I'm glad Gene hasn't been shadow banned or hasn't been banned off Twitter. Anyway, that's it. Star Wars stuff continues to happen without anything going on. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Like, how do you allow this to keep going, Disney? Anyway. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, share the video, comment below. Uh, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.